Hi children, Intermediate Second Year Botany, Unit 2, Chapter 7, Bacteria. Bacteria are among the most abundant organisms on Earth. The credit for observation and description of bacteria goes to Anton von Leeuwenhoek. Ehrenberg coined the term bacteria. In 1850s, Louis Pasteur's work showed that bacteria are chemical factors capable of bringing about significant changes in nature. He did extensive work on bacteria and is regarded as father of bacteriology. In 1870s, Koch experiment established their link to infectious disease, the germ theory of diseases. And due to the efforts of several enthusiastic scientists in the last two centuries to understand the bacterial world, the study of bacteria is now recognized as bacteriology, a new branch of biology. Bacteria are found everywhere. They are found in soil, water, air and are inside living organisms. They are omnipresent. They also occur in a variety of foods. They can withstand extreme cold, heat and drought conditions. They are thus met within much unexpected media like arctic snow, volcanic ash, hot water and sulphur springs etc. In terms of sheer numbers, they greatly exceed every other group of organism on the planet. Some bacteria are deadly parasites of plants and animals and human beings and some bacteria are mutually beneficial symbiotic association with plants and animals. Morphology of bacteria let's discuss the size bacteria are very small organisms which are barely visible under the light microscope their size varies according to the species majority of the bacteria are in the range of 2 to 5 micrometers in length and 0 0.5 to 1 micrometer in breadth and coming to the shape of the bacteria it is the rigid cell wall of the bacteria that determine the shape of the bacterial cell bacterial cells may be spherical elongated rods or helical rod like or comma shaped or some are uh, changing keep on changing their shape depending upon the type of the environment and nutrients available to them and let us discuss the shape of the bacteria one by one firstly the spherical type of bacteria bacteria may occur individually or in group the arrangement of bacteria in groups depends upon the adherence of cells together after cell division Based on the number of cells adhering together and their arrangement, the spherical that is coccal forms are named as monococcus. Means only single okate bacteria, okate spherical bacteria can account to the monococcus anantam and diplococcus. Rendu spherical bacteria can account to the diplococcus anantam. Tetracoccus. Four, spi four spherical shaped bacteria group together then it is called a tetracocci. And next type is streptococcus. Oka linear and straight line lo chala spherical bacteria sunni oka, oka straight line lo row laga uh, line lo arrange hai unna, group hai unna teta dhani streptococcus anantam. Staphylococcus bacteria. Staphylococcus bacteria and chala spherical shaped bacteria irregular oka shape unto lake unna oka line laga unna oka group laga form hai unna teta then staphylococci bacteria anantam and sarsinae 8 8 uh, spherical bacteria form in a cubical way then that type of bacteria then that uh, bacterial type is called sarsinae the second type of bacteria based on its shape is elongated rods rod shaped bacteria are called bacilli the bacillus forms also may exist in single or in group if the bacillus forms exist as a single elongated cell, then it is called monobacillus. And if paired bacilli cells, bacilli bacteria are present, then it is called diplobacillus. Streptobacillus comes when, uh, when a group of bacteria, rod shaped bacteria are arranged in a straight line. Then it is called streptobacillus. And the next form of bacteria are vibrio. This is comma shaped. Comma shape lona bacteria and vibrio bacteria antam. Spherical forms may be vibrioid. Oko sari spiral lum anta spherical forms lone spirals form out on te rings laga form helical rods laga form out on taite than a spiral lum antam. Nana ekada vibrio anta only one comma shaped spiral lum anante ala kakunda chala spherical chala uh, spring laga chala chutluganaka chutkuna taite than a spiral lum bacteria anantam. Spiral lum cells that have more than one complete twist. And a distinct helical shape are called spirillum or spirochetes. And what a pillistum, they cork screw shaped and what a 
yes children we have studied about the four types of bacteria based on its shape spherical shape la unte cocci dan kinda any types unayo cheptunnamu uh, rod shape la unte bacillus dan kinda any types unayo cheptunnam and the third one is vibrio and the fourth one is spirochetes and our next topic is bacterial cell structure in the development of the electron microscope in 1940s by nolan and ruska bacteria revealed themselves as more than simple spears and rods scientist uncovered a wealth of microscopic and submicroscopic details of bacteria and showed how very minute bacteria can be as complex as very large visible organism some species of bacteria are endowed with flagella and show rapid wave like movement one advantage of motility is that it enables a bacterium to move towards the favorable environment or away from an adverse one and based on the presence of flagella there are types of bacteria atrichous bacteria ante flagella kanaka lekapothe aa bacteria ni atrichous bacteria nu antam and second type is monotrichous if a bacteria is having single flagella okate flagella unnataithe danani monotrichous an antam and if a bacteria is having two flagella on either poles okati mundu okati venaka rendu flagella ganaka unte danni amphitrichous bacteria an annam and lophotrichous anante oka vaipe edo oka pole lo maatrame oka vaipu maatrame okati kante ekkuva flagella ganaka unte danini lophotrichous an annam and peritrichous flagella బాడీ మొత్తం కూడా అంటే దాని అది రాడ్ షేప్ కానీ లేకపోతే ఏ షేప్ అయిన బ్యాక్టీరియా దాని బాడీ చుట్టూ కూడా ఫ్లాజల్లా కనుక ఉంటే దానిని పెరిట్రైకస్ బ్యాక్టీరియా అని అన్నాం నాన్న ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ బ్లా బ్యాక్టీరియా ఉన్నాయి బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద ప్రజెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లాజల్లా ఏ ట్రైకస్ అంటే ఫ్లాజల్లా ఉండదు మోనోట్రైకస్ అంటే ఒకటే సింగిల్ ఫ్లాజల్లా ఉంటుంది యాంఫీట్రైకస్ అని అంటే రెండు వైపులా ఫ్లాజల్లా ఉంటుంది రెండు పోల్స్ కి ఫ్లాజల్లా ఉంటుంది లోఫోట్రైకస్ అంటే ఒకటే ఫ్లా ఒకటే వైపు ఫ్లాజల్లా ఒకటి కంటే ఎక్కువ ఫ్లాజల్లా ఒకే వైపు ఉన్నట్టయితే దానిని లోఫోట్రైకస్ అన్నాం అలా కాకుండా బాడీ మొత్తం కనుక ఫ్లాజల్లా ఉన్నట్టయితే దానిని పెరిట్రైకస్ ఫ్లాజల్లా పెరిట్రైకస్ బ్యాక్టీరియా అని అంటాం అండ్ ద నెక్స్ట్ టాపిక్ ఇస్ ప్లాస్మెట్స్ In addition to the bacterial chromosome or genophore which is the main genetic material bacteria will also have a small circular double stranded dna molecule called plasmid idi extra dna bacteria dna kaakunda bacteria ni ki undalsina dani dna kaakunda extra circular dna untundi dani ni manam plasmid antam and this plasmid usually contain few genes than the genophore and often confer protective traits such as resistant to drugs and production of toxins and enzymes idi extra dna annam kabatti extra pani ni chestundi enti konni drugs ki resistant ga work chestundi konni ti ni konni toxins ni tayar cheyadaniki konni rakalaina enzymes tayar cheyadaniki plasmids upayogapadtayi and they may be gained or lost without harming the bacterial cell ఆ ప్లాస్మిడ్ ని మనం బ్యాక్టీరియాకి సంబంధం లేకుండా బ్యాక్టీరియానికి హాని చేయకుండా ఆ ప్లాస్మిడ్ ని బ్యాక్టీరియా నుంచి మనం బయటికి తీసుకోవచ్చు అండ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ప్లాస్మిడ్స్ కెన్ బి రెడీలీ మ్యానిపులేటెడ్ ఇన్ ద ల్యాబరేటరీ అండ్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్డ్ ఫ్రమ్ వన్ బ్యాక్టీరియల్ సెల్ టు అనదర్ అండ్ దీస్ ఆర్ యూస్ యాజ్ ఏజెంట్స్ ఇన్ మోడర్న్ జెనెటిక్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ టెక్నిక్ అండ్ ఇన్ బయో అండ్ ఇన్ బయోటెక్నాలజీ విచ్ విల్ బి స్టడింగ్ ఇన్ ద ఫర్దర్ లెసన్